Yo, what is going on Comfy Gang? It's Comfy Neen here. Uh, first of all, sorry for the long wait in between videos. Um, fortunately, I'm still hopelessly addicted to watching anime, so um, I guess it's probably going to take a while for me to get back to the habit of uploading videos pretty regularly, at least until I finish a lot of the series that I want to watch or start to get tired of anime. But anyways, um, for this video, I wanted to talk about something that I think a lot of people can relate to. And that is um, that I guess a lot of us have this sort of innate dislike, fear, or hatred of silence. And um, before we start the video, I think it's important to distinguish between the two different types of silence, which I'm going to mention in this video, talk about in this video. Uh, so the first type of silence is, you know, the silence that happens in social situations. Uh, for example, uh, you know, let's say you're out in public. Or let's say, you know, maybe back in the day when you still had friends, or let's say when you're with friends, if you're not like a neat or, uh, you know, just a degen basement dweller like me. Um, yeah, let's say you're out with a group of people and, you know, you say something and then they, um, they don't say anything back to you, or you're in the middle of a conversation that's going pretty, uh, you know, going pretty smoothly. Everybody's talking except you, of course, and when you say something, all of a sudden, you know, the conversation just, you know, dies, dies down, and, you know, all of a sudden, everything's really awkward and quiet, and, um, you know, usually, I think that's pretty much the first type of silence, which I'm referring to, um, and, well, you know, obviously, when things go quiet in a social situation, it's usually not a good thing, because, well, um, people, um, I think generally want to keep talking. I don't know. I don't know why that's a thing, you know, because obviously there really isn't anything inherently wrong with, you know, a conversation dying out because at, at the end of the day, most conversations are really just, you know, vapid nonsense. And, you know, maybe like 80 to 90% of the time, people aren't actually talking about anything like that important. It's more about, you know, just contributing to the, the quote unquote vibe or, you know, just, you know, making sure everybody is comfortable, you know, when you're getting to know each other. Most talk is really uh, just small talk. And I guess when that dies, for whatever reason, despite that, um, yeah, just, there's something just so unsettling about a conversation dying out. And it's even more unsettling when you're the one that causes it to die out. And, you know, the other one is, you know, obviously being ignored because that's usually a sign of, um, you know, usually a sign that, you know, maybe some, that give the person that's ignoring you has, you know, something against you or, you know, maybe they're a potential threat. And your brain is constantly looking out for threats and, you know, negative things in the environment. And therefore when, when that happens, uh, you know, silence is usually an indication of something negative in a social situation, even though in reality, it could just be that, you know, you know, the person sitting across from you is just equally awkward and anxious as you are. Although in my case, I'm pretty sure I'm the more awkward one. And I guess in a lot of, you know, people who are like me, or maybe that's what we think, maybe in reality that's that's a thing right where you know when you when you tell people that you feel awkward they're like and that's why you're quiet they're like oh i feel awkward too and um you know all that but in reality i don't know if that's something how true that is like maybe they're just saying that to be nice but oh, that's besides the point um the second type of silence which i want to talk about is um i think what i intended to be what what i intended to be the main topic of discussion for this video and you know that's just you know silence when you're alone and i don't know personally i it's not like i consciously avoid silence but it's really just an automatic thing at this point where let's say when i wake up i immediately you know go to my computer or i immediately go to my phone and immediately start looking at you know Listening to, mu listening to music or, you know, looking at videos with the allotted time that I have or, you know, just, uh, you know, doing something that creates any sort of sound. And um, 
even when I'm, let's say, for example, doing something like playing guitar, which already creates sound, or um, let's say I'm on my phone, you know, playing a, playing a gotcha game. Um, despite that, even though these things might make sound, or let's say they don't make sound, I still end up finding myself, you know, turning on the computer and, you know, letting a YouTube video play or, you know, letting, letting an anime play, even though I'm not actually watching the anime or the video or I'm not even listening to it per se, it's more just the fact that there has to be some sort of background noise uh, that's sort of going on to, um, I don't know, keep my, keep my mind at ease. I don't know if maybe I'm addicted to that background noise or maybe, maybe if it's because I associate that background noise with the sort of passive consumption of useless information that I usually engage in. Maybe it's that I'm, I actually am absorbing, you know, information passively and maybe that's why I like it. Um, but I think beyond that, it's just, I, for whatever reason, really don't like silence because when, when I'm, a, when I'm, when I'm, alone by myself in silence that sort of leaves a lot of room for you know my mind to go wild and you know I feel like that's when all these sort of negative thoughts seem to come up you know sometimes that's not necessarily the case but um, oftentimes that can be where I start to recall things that really embarrass me and then that sort of makes me feel like crap and a lot of the time it's not just really thoughts but it's just more so the fact that you know a lot of sort of unpleasant unpleasant emotions that i guess i seem to be keeping bottled down uh bottled up i mean seem to start to surface whenever i'm left alone in silence and i don't know the reason for this but i think um i don't know i guess the noise and the information, all the distraction and stuff is really just a way for me to basically sort of distract myself from whatever is going on inside me. And because while there's a lot of, I guess, shit that's going on um, inside me and, um, you know, honestly, I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what exactly that is because I'm, I'm just constantly avoiding it and, um, maybe that's not a good thing. Maybe I should, maybe I should be, you know, spending, you know, some time by myself and just, you know, I guess it wouldn't even be meditating or maybe it would be meditating or, you know, just being alone and just letting all the negative emotions come to the surface. But of course, given that I literally have no backbone and I really don't want to deal with that stuff. Um, and just more so the fact that I just, it's impossible for me to do the right thing, I guess. I just constantly avoid, you know, I just constantly avoid the issue and therefore, I guess, feel the need to, you know, play videos or, you know, play some random Netflix series that I'm not really paying attention to. For example, one such series would be, you know, World War II in color. Um, I, I guess I'm interested in World War II, but I'm not that in, that interested in it. So I really have no idea why I would ever play that series when it's honestly, the narration is kind of boring, but it's just pretty much anything that um, will basically keep the silence at bay. And another interesting thing that I noticed is that a lot of the times when I'm breaking the silence with you know, noise. I feel like it has to be, uh, you know, my, my noise of choice is usually, um, you know, something that involves the human voice. Maybe it's, uh, you know, someone talking about something or, you know, someone narrating something, or maybe it's something, um, you know, that involves, you know, people socializing. Like I like playing videos of people, uh, you know, just, I guess people talking and laughing and having fun or just living their lives, vlogging, you know, all the things that I'm not really doing because I don't really have a life. <laughs> and, um, um, 
yeah, uh, pretty sad. But um, I guess maybe the reason for that is, you know, some part of me consciously craves, unconsciously craves human human interaction, but doesn't have the willpower or motiv motivation to actually go through with it, or maybe is just not willing to get over the fear of people that I have. So as a result, you know, playing videos of people socializing and just listening it, listening to it in the background is maybe, you know, just, just, uh, you know, my sort of way of coping and sort of the sort of next best thing to being in public uh, because I guess when you're alone in your room for so long, I think it can start to drive you crazy, especially given the stuff that I talked about earlier about, you know, silence being a natural. Um, did I talk about that? Um, I honestly don't remember, but basically something about how um, silence is a pretty, I don't, yeah, I don't think I did, but yeah, basically, yeah, silence is pretty unnatural if you think about it. Um, Let's say uh, when we were out in nature back, well, not us, but when our monkey ancestors were out in nature, uh, there's basically a ton of noise of, you know, crickets chirping and, um, um, you know, other shit, you know, fucking leaves rustling in, in the wind <laughs> and, uh, and uh, you know, fucking animals taking taking a shit and farting and releasing methane gas and yeah that was pretty common so um when that sort of went away in modern civilization i'm i guess that obviously probably will mess with your brain somewhat and i'm pretty sure it's probably messing with mine and part of that is you know just not being around people i think human beings are sort of um you know require a certain amount of social interaction and it's not, if you sort of break it down into its sort of elementary components, um, part of that social interaction is really just hearing other people talk. So while I'm not really getting, you know, full on discussions with people and I'm not really full on interacting with people, I'm at least, you know, getting that sort of one component of social interaction, which is sort of, you know, the sound of people talking and, you know, being in an environment where people are talking with each other. And I'm sure maybe that's one sort of subconscious unconscious way that I'm sort of keeping insanity at bay. Because when you think about how people are put in, for example, when people are put in solitary confinement in prison, a lot of times, and a, and a lot of times, um, these sort of solitary confinement rooms are often devoid of sound and they're deliberately designed to be soundproof so as to avoid, you know, the screams of people in solitary solitary confinement leaking out and um, I guess disturbing people or maybe it's so that you know it's really to sort of drive in the fact that you're alone but basically what I'm trying to say is that when people are in sol solitary confinement and they're in um, these environments that are completely or pretty much almost devoid of sound um, then they basically pretty much go crazy within I don't know, within a few days, not just, I think not just because there's no, it, it could be because, well, obviously part of it is because there's pretty much nothing to do, but I think a key component of that is the fact that there's pretty much no sound and there's just so, something so unsettling about, you know, there not being any sound because I feel like um, that's really when your mind starts to take over and all these negative thoughts seem to come out in droves when, uh, and when there's pretty much, you know, I think sound is essentially a distraction from all of the vile shit that's going on inside your mind. And um, another example of this would be, I think I read about this somewhere, I watched a video about it, where there was this basically, um, someone created this, this room that was, completely soundproof to the point where that um there's literally not no sound can reflect off any of uh any of the walls because of the special material in the paneling and um just the way the room was psychoacoustically designed and 
Uh, when they experimented seeing how long people could last inside this soundless room, uh, and it, I mean, this room is so quiet that you could pretty much hear your heartbeat because that was pretty much the only thing that was, uh, um, I guess, producing sound is your, basically your heartbeat and your breathing. But yeah, it was so quiet that you could pretty much hear your own heartbeat like clearly. And uh, I think the longest someone lasted inside a soundless room, I think was, I think within the range of 15 to 30 minutes, which is, uh, and it's not like this room didn't have any light or you couldn't do anything in the room. It's just that, um, yeah, like, people pretty, I, I think that just goes to show how little people can actually tolerate silence. And maybe, so maybe uh, in a sense that sort of, you know, makes what I'm experiencing, and I guess what a lot of people are experiencing a lot more normal. Um, and yeah, I guess, I think what I was trying to get at talking about the whole, you know, bringing, you know, wanting to, um, wanting to back to what I was talking about originally about how, uh, you know, me playing, you know, audio of people talking was more to get at the fact that, um, yeah, silence, um, basically I think reminds me just how lonely I am. And, um, I think, you know, hearing people talk, even if vicariously through, you know, digital media and stuff like that is sort of, you know, my way of distracting myself from the fact that I'm probably, I'm probably pretty lonely. I, I tend to forget that when I'm, you know, binging media and stuff like that. But even when I'm playing video games, for example, it's, I feel like it's always nice to have something playing in the background. And I guess, yeah, usually that involves another human voice. So it's not like I play ambient music or fucking, you know, rainforest sounds and, uh, feel comfortable uh, although that might be pretty calming before going to sleep but uh yeah anyways i feel like i've pretty much said all i wanted to say for this video um man uh, i really need to get into the habit of making these shorter so i can uh, upload more regularly and so that'll be less taxing but you know who knows anyways uh this is comfy signing out hope comfy neat signing out um I've clearly forgotten how to talk, so um, please forgive me. Forgive me for that, and uh, yeah, peace.